Hello to all my uh, CHO friends. Uh, today I am discussing on oral cavity examination, particularly for oral cavity CA screening. Okay, you know it's very important if any client just complain of chief complaint of related to oral cavity, so you have to more uh, just you just put your only only two minutes uh, for this particular uh, client, so you can easily. Easily, easily access or easily inspect the any pathology, any any deformity, any abnormality on the uh, oral cavity. So let's see. Just just put your two minutes. It's it's very important for this this particular client who are complaining of related to this uh, mainly the major complaint about related to the to the this particular oral cavity. So at first we have to take the proper history related any habits, any abnormalities, any deformities, any related any trauma. Just you just take your history according to your uh, your accessibility. Okay. So next. What should you do for the inspection? So it's a very simple. We have to uh, take uh, one pair of gloves for your using just for your protection. Another thing is the uh, spatula. This is the spatula for wooden spatula. It's very uh, easily accessible, easily available in the market. And also the after using one, then you will you will discard easily. So if you have the tongue depression, you can use also. But it, for me, it's very uh, comfortable and accessible and available. Okay, so you can easily um, uh, available in your market. So use it also. And another one is the, the another one. Is that the light source yes uh, if you have focusing levels so no need any assistance if you have no focusing light so you have need assistance for particular light source you just use your light source and particularly for proper visualization so that's at first you have to know the oral cavity anatomy so in, that's why anatomy of the oral cavity so this is now the oral cavity okay so oral cavity extend from leaves and extend up to oropharynx okay this is the oropharynx this is the mainly the darkened area of the uh, oral cavity if you put light source you can check the oropharynx okay so now we are going to the lips at first particularly lips is the very important area particularly for oral cavity because any color changes any abnormality any dissymmetry any other changes you can check easily just outside of the uh, outside so you can check the lips at first this is the upper lips this is the lower lips okay so you can check easily this is the angle of the mouth if you check the angular stomatitis just like that so you can check here also okay uh, remember that uh, the bcc vessel cell carcinoma and squamous cell carcinoma extend up to lips uh, lips of the oral cavity okay then teeth teeth is a very important our because it is maintain our uh, the beauty of uh, the mouth cavity so if you check any changes in teeth just malocclusion any biting condition in oral buccal mucosa any caries any deformity any others uh, missing tooth you can check easily because most of the pathology develop the lip from the teeth okay so teeth is the very important you have to check the teeth of the oral cavity okay this is the teeth and where the teeth is put where the teeth, teeth is sit this is the gingiva okay this is the gingiva 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 you have to check any bleeding any others bleeding any 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 inflammation any swelling any color change any aphthous ulcer any leukoplakia erythroplakia you have to check the the folded upwards of the lips and then you can check the gingiva so gingiva is the most prone to bleeding area because there are lots of uh, capillary lots of blood vessels there so it's easily bleeding okay so that's why you have to check the gingiva so from gingiva you can check any pathological condition also next we are going to the heart palate um, just when you check the heart palate you have to move the backward to the um, backward and upward to the client okay head client's head so you can check easily the heart palate this is the heart palate there is a the rogi also present and then the soft palate if any color changes if any abnormality if any growth if any redness if any erythroplakia and also the self soft palate okay you have to check then we're going to the uvula uvula is the very important you can check this is the small portion just like 
just like small tongue so if any deviation of the uvula you have to uh, you have to identify if maybe it is the vagal nerve palsy it's any dissymmetry symmetry is not regular so you can check easily the uvula okay then the retromolar trigon this is the big back of the molar area there is a trigon is present this is the retromolar you have to check also that particular area yeah then we are going to buccal mucosa this is a very important area not only inspect as well as also palpate the buccal mucosa later i will see about the how to inspect how to palpate how to screening the oral cavity cancer so at now the anatomy of the buccal mucosa buccal mucosa is the most prone area for squamous, squamous cell carcinoma so you have to check the both side this is the left this is the right side of the oral cavity you have to check properly okay so you that, that is the buccal mucosa there is any redness any growth any color anything you can check this is okay and another things is another things is the this is the floor of the tongue because tongue if any color changes if any growth if any abnormalities you can check the tongue just say the client to move the tongue side by side so you if the client can move the side by side so this is okay for any there is no 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 policy there is no defective in nerve condition if any problem if the client can't move side by side so this is the problem in hypoglossal nerve also and this is the lateral border of the tongue where is the most prone area this is the most prone area of the carcinoma developing the carcinoma of oral cavity so you have to check properly the lateral border of the tongue and ventral so this is the floor of the tongue and back of the tongue this is the floor of the tongue also check because of the who the client who are chewing who are taking good car tobacco tobacco etc etc so most uh, most of the client put in this tobacco here so this is the most prone area so we have to check this area particularly the floor of the mouth and also the uh, ventral of the tongue you have to check next this is the tonsil tonsil is the most uh, important particularly human body uh, you have to check tonsil any, any tonsil swelling any growth because the very very important pathological condition develops here the tonsil so this is all about the anatomy of the oral cavity that's enough for just see this is the upper lips just folded upwards and at first inspect the any smoothness any any uh, abnormal smoothness any color change any deformity any growth anything and then palpate just check any growth any palm nodules just like just check and then thumb put in inside and index finger put outside just like that that is a spell trick so i found no firm nodule no abnormality nothing okay the same as next next step this is the lower lips just check leaf color any change any other things if you get anything just note down after the procedure just index finger put inside and thumb outside and then palpate so no abnormality then the buccal cavity put it if at first you just inspect your buccal cavity this type just like that put one spatula and just like another side okay and then just index finger and middle finger put one side and another just thumb outside the cheek ah oh. so remember this is very important this buccal cavity inspection as well as palpation okay same as you also put your this put this side also okay just two finger and inside and thumb outside no okay this is the fourth step another one is the just hard palate and soft palate you just uh, say to client and put your uh, spatula Uh, and um, say to client backward and upward the head uh, to the head
and put your one finger is any palpation soft pallet and hard pallet as well as okay and another thing number five just bend drum of that tongue and put your one finger just index finger is just floor of the mouth it's any abnormality okay done and then this is the sixth and another one is the tongue tongue just check that is tongue in abnormalities okay just put a huh? and say to client just put to the tongue uh, this is lateral border very important lateral border because of lateral border is the most prone to develop the carcinoma of oral cavity this is And last it it is the C to client just develop a sound ah, and also focus your light just take the oral pharynx tonsil pillar of the tonsils and all things if any problem just depend you know this is the darkened area just put your light source and this is just take the spatula press here and say to so this is the eighth step according to who and last part of this step is the this is the three finger step you know it's very important for three finger because of any jaw dislocation any jaw fracture any trismus any related jaw so the uh, client can't open the mouth so just uh, say to client just open your mouth just put your three finger or, or easily there are no abnormality opening there is no abnormality jaw so it's okay for that's that is the very simple just only two minutes just only two minutes you just put your uh, put your time thank you for watching i think it will be help for you guys so let's see uh, thank you